Okay, so when we take a blank space, a uh, new sheet, let's take a new file. There we go, new blank map. Okay, so when we have a blank my blank map, you can see that the units are unknown units. And when I project a shape file that has been georeferenced in a particular unit, you you will see that units change to that. For example, I have my BGD administrative area zero shape file here. Now when I have a uh, put that on my workspace you can see the units now have changed to decimal degrees because the file is georeferenced in decimal degrees but now we're going to see how we can georeference this same file into a utm a utm units and then save that file as a utm georeference file okay so to do that let me just first remove this so that i can show you from the beginning okay so just kind of folder there you go now right now i have my folder where i keep my uh, what do you say resources so anyone who has done my rgis course and here to watch this video you'll already know uh, most of the things here but i did not include this lesson in the course so i thought let's just make it okay so from here what we're going to do is we're going to go to add data from add data we will now go we're going to connect another folder to connect that folder let's go to our pc from there we're going to go to our c drive in c drive we're going to go inside the program files 86 there you go from there you go to arcgis now inside arcgis uh, since i'm using the desktop 10.8 uh, version i'm going to open that folder and in that folder you are going to find another folder named references let me just here we go reference systems just click on it and then click on ok there we go now you have a new folder added there here you'll find uh, different kinds of reference shape files so we're going to take the utm reference shape file i'm going to add it to the uh, workspace here there you go it is now added as you can see now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to list by drawing order there you go and table of contents then i'm going to move my original file above this file there we go now we have it and what this utm file does is actually it uh, divides the utm zones of the entire world into different kind of strips okay so let me just first we're going to do a quick search google search or bing search whatever you want then we're just going to see the uh, utm zone location of this particular country map so this is the uh, uh, bangladesh's shape file so let's go back there there we go now here we can see that the, it is in two different UTM zones, zone 45 north and in zone 46 north. Okay, so now it is a bit confusing to understand which zone should we take. Should we take zone 45 or should we take zone 46 N? All right, so in my tutorial, I did not go in depth about this topic. I just said that go and use zone 46. Okay, now we're going to see why we used zone 46 instead of zone 45. Let's go back to ArcGIS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my UTM folder, go to properties. For properties, we're going to go to labels and in the uh, label field, we're going to change from east value to zone. There we go. We have zone now. Now let's make the size a bit bigger so that we can see. There you go. 16. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now do a right click again on that and then do the label features now we have the labels so this strip right here is the 45 north zone and this strip right here is the 46 north zone as you can see this country this country bangladesh let me just label it as well okay name zero very good uh, go to 14 apply and okay now we just need to label the features there you go so the country bangladesh is in the 45 north as well as the 46 north so when a situation like this comes up what you need to do is you need to see how much of it is in which zone so from this distinguishing line it seems that uh, most of the country area is in the zone 46 north and not in the zone 45 north that is why we're going to take zone 46 north okay so now what we need to do is we're going to go to our view from view we go to data frame properties now here what i'm going to do is we're going to go to projected coordinate systems from there we're going to go to utm from there we go to wgs 1984 there you go from there we go to northern hemisphere there we go 
now we're going to need the UTM song 46 North. So let's keep on going down since we find here we go our 46 North. So if you are working with a uh, same country for a long while, what you can do is you can add this particular uh, system to your favorite lists by just clicking on the star button which says add to favorites. Okay, but I'm not doing that because I don't work with that a lot. Now, instead of clicking on apply, we're just going to select that and then we're going to click on OK. All right, there we go. So right now, the uh, UTM zone north 46 has been applied to our workspace, not to our particular shape file. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to right click on my shape file. From there we go to data. From there we go to export data. There you go to export data and we are going to export all the features. Now here's the catch. The catch is when we, before we save it, you, you see that it says use the same coordinate systems as this layer's source data. So this layer's source data actually had the decimal coordinate systems, the degree, minutes and seconds. And if I turn on the data frame, so for the data frame, the workspace, we have set the UTM zone 46 north. So when, are, when we are going to export this file, it is going to contain the coordinate projected coordinate systems of the UTM coordinate system of zone 46 north. Now you just select the target folder where you want to, uh, you want to save it and then give it a name. I'm calling it, let's say, tutorial b g d u t okay there we go now make sure that the save as type is set to shape file because it is going to be a shape file now click on save click on ok it is done do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer no all right now we're done here you can see it is still in decimal degrees because the first uh, input we did on the workspace was in decimal degrees that's why it is showing that now here's the data we just made right the shape file we just made so let me just quickly take a new workspace a new blank map click on ok no i do not want to save any further Ah, there we go. Now we have unknown units once again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag my uh, recent shape file that we just made. So let's just drag it here. And this time, as you can see, instead of decimal degrees, it is showing us meters, meaning this file is now georeferenced in the UTM system instead of the uh, decimal system or the degree minute and second system so that is how you can properly and professionally make or redo shape files into different georeference systems okay so i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, if it is a bit hard for you then i would suggest that you can check out my course and that's where i taught the basics of gis from beginning to last which will help you understand the work of ArcGIS better. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this video helped you a lot. Take care. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.